hello guys welcome back again this is Suresh from my Zona Mission channel today in this session we will start a new JMeter series for beginners as part of that in this session we will discuss about the JMeter and its features which will be useful in your performance interviews so let's get started what is a JMeter so JMeter is known as Apache JMeter it is an open source application where everyone can right away install and use it's a plug and play tool it's 100 percent java based application with a beautiful graphical user interface it is mainly used to analyze and uh, do a performance testing of our web application and also we can do a api level testing with this respect to our jmeter and the major advantage we have with the jmeter is it will simulate the virtual users uh, like a real-time users on a server or an application to test the performance of that application in a real time world it is really difficult to simulate that much of load like uh, we cannot make 100 people or 1000 people to sit uh, for some time and uh, test our application which is very costly and it is not possible when we go beyond uh, 10,000 or a 1 lakh so in that situation the tools like jmeter will be helpful to do a performance load test on the application which will put some load on the application and see the behavior at times application will break so we will know the breaking point of our application and accordingly we will adjust our load balancer with our application or we will do a performance improvement of our application so the features of jmeter so jmeter as i told it's a it is used for performance testing of applications servers and protocols so there are uh, protocols like http and https protocol it supports and uh, soap and uh, restful apis it will support and you can pause this uh, screen and you can refer to all these uh, points which is a bullet points like ftp database via gdbc ldap uh, message oriented middleware and the mail servers native commands tcp and java objects so these are all the features which is supported or these are all the protocols or servers application which is supported by our jmeter so we can start using uh, for the performance metrics for that applications protocol servers and we have one of the greatest advantage of having this jmeter is it's a uh, built-in tool with a recording and playback where we can record our uh, web behavior and we can build a test plan and debug later on so it is one of the best tool to record at the same time and play back with the performance metrics and it has a beautiful ci uh, cli mode which is called as a non gui mode or headless mode to test our application and uh, once we do this CLI mode, we can execute in any of the operating system like Linux, Windows uh, and Mac OS. And uh, whenever we do a performance testing of any application or server or protocols, we have to do with them in a CLI mode because graphical user interface will take some extra time or use the extra resources which will impact the actual metrics. So better we have to do the CLI mode which will give an accurate results. And it's a it comes with the HTML reports. So there are reports which are being generated by the our JMeter are very useful and uh, it helps to make a correlation of uh, extraction of data like we have a response or request which is having a html or json or xml or any kind of textual basis we have to extract them so we have some techniques called pre-process and post process which will be useful to extract the data and we can do a correlation of between uh, call between uh, api call a api call versus api call and which will be very useful when we do a dynamic test like uh, we do a one time of correlation and it will run a number of time it will adjust and uh, run so that is uh, one of the biggest advantage we have in the jmeter and uh, it's a fully multi-threaded framework allows a concurrent sampling by many threads and uh, in this jmeter we have a concept of uh, threads under that uh, test plan so each thread uh, it represent one sample so we may use uh, 100 thread samples at a time or we may use 10,000 set uh, uh, samples at a time so this this will be all as a multi-threaded uh, approach so that is uh, having an advantage within the jmeter so these are all the uh, useful features of our jmeter so once we get into the actual performance testing you will know uh, all these features and one of the important point is jmeter is not a browser 
so many thing many many of uh, people think that Dementor is a web browser because we are recording the uh, web browser and we are uh, again replaying it it's, it's not like that it will capture the api calls or a uh, protocols and it will uh, record web browser and it will store all the api calls and where we can rerun those api calls doing a correlation and uh, adding some extra samples and uh, ramp up time so all this will be used here as far as uh, web services or remote services are concurrented and jmeter looks like a browser but not it's not a browser however jmeter does not perform all the actions supported by the browsers like uh, it uses the resources like html resource and uh, javascript resources so we have every api call with respect to them and it will trigger those api endpoints and it will get the data but it will not simulate uh, similar to our web browser but it uses some part of our web browser behavior so these are the advantages and disadvantages of our uh, jmeter so we will see more in actual practical session when we come across hope you like this uh, small session about uh, jmeter introduction so we will see the practical sessions in upcoming sessions so please do stay tuned for the updates if the session is useful, please do like and share. Thank you.